Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy and today I'm going to do a watercolor painting. I'm going to be doing a butterfly and a flower. Um, I drew it out first and I did use liquid masking fluid um, to protect the flower and the butterfly so I could do the background without having to work around the the main subjects and I was going to I was putting in a like a blurred out background it makes it real easy to be able to go over the top of your subject to get that background in without having to go around edges and stuff and I used a, a wet on wet technique for the background but please make sure that your masking fluid is dry before you move on um, it probably make a little bit of a mess if you don't I used um, shades of green and pink for the background You'll see I go over it a few different times to try to get the blurred soft background that I was looking for. I also utilized a paper towel to help uh, pull up any excess uh, pigments that I thought, it would, if I thought it was a little too dark. And I use a rubber cement eraser to help lift the masking fluid. Um, but I only took off the flower because um, I was I was working from the background to the foreground. So I left the butterfly taped off so that way I don't accidentally get some paint on it. And I did add new masking fluid to the center of the flower to help give that some texture. I used uh, browns and pinks for the flower to try and have it fit with the background. And I lifted the masking fluid off the center dots and the butterfly, but then I went back over the center with some brown and then used a, a napkin to lift it back up so that way it wasn't a stark white, but there was still that texture. And for the butterfly, um, it was like an iridescent blue butterfly, so I used different shades of blue and green to try and represent that iridescentness where different, you know, it shows a different color depending on the light that's hitting it. I use blues and um, like teals and aquas. The more layers of uh, watercolor, the more opaque it gets. And I used a gel pen to put in the little dots around the wings. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.